That's a good question. Let's get into some mermaids. There are many ways that you can draw mermaids, but I'll just show you what I did for mermaid. With normal human legs, I'll typically go for something that's a little bit more structured. Like for example, we have the upper part of the leg right here, and then we have the lower part of the leg right here, and then of course we'll like draw a foot or something like that. However, with mermaids, I typically start with just a gesture line. Some of you guys might be familiar with something called the line of action. The line of action is something to get a little bit more energy in your drawing. And because a fish tail doesn't really follow the same bone structure as your leg, I think it's a little bit more fun to do something that's a little bit more swoopy and less structured doing. Now that being said, it'd probably be helpful to look up anatomy of fish or dolphins or something like that, but I kind of just drew it handily for fun. I apologize for these very poorly drawn legs, but one thing you could do is draw the legs together and then like just keep them very close together and then draw a mermaid tail on top of it. Keep in mind that learning anatomy is very important for when you're drawing characters. However, with mermaids, you're allowed to fudge the rules a little bit because mermaids aren't exactly real. Again, looking up anatomy of things like fish or dolphins that have long tails that don't have leg joints or at least don't have joints that work the same way as a animal with legs, you can still, again, fudge around with it a little bit. I didn't do it for this mermaid, but I would say that uh, her tail is more proportioned, that, so like if she were to actually have had legs, they'd roughly be about the same length as her tail. However, with this mermaid, I made her tail very long, so if she actually had legs, this would not be humanely possible. Again, I focus more on the gesture rather than the anatomy for this one, because again, mermaids don't, mermaids don't exist, so we don't know if their anatomy would be like a fish or not. If you want to draw a mermaid tail so that way it's more structured like a bone, so that way they almost have like their own spine in the tail, then you can totally do that. Again, for me, I focus more on the gesture. And this isn't to say that you should not learn anatomy, because anatomy is very important. It's just with mermaids, you're allowed to be a bit more loosey-goosey, because again, they don't exist. You can even go ahead and draw the mermaids that are a little bit more scary looking, like, like sirens or harpies or something like that. So again, a lot of it is mostly something that you can do just for fun. This is just what I did for Mermaid. Focus more on the gesture rather than having to focus on an integral structure because it's a little bit more fun that way.